today I'm cooking in Perth, Western Australia. Today we're using some beautiful West Australian oats, a spurtle and some amazing native ingredients from Australia. This recipe is special to me. My grandma is from Scotland uh, and she sent me a spurtle one day. At first I thought it's a stick, but then I understand why you need to use a spurtle, how it helps the consistency of cooking great porridge. Okay, the porridge cook starts with sauteing some beautiful Bravo apples in some butter, which just caramelizes and brings out the sweetness. And with the apples, we throw in our macadamias, again, just to get that beautiful roasted flavor that comes out. We're just gonna finish that process off by adding a touch of raw honey. And this honey comes from my dad's beehives. He's a beekeeper, so we have all the essence of beautiful WA produce here. Okay, once that's caramelized, we stop the cooking process by adding the liquid, which today we've got water and macadamia nut milk. So the macadamias, native to Australia, but grown in a lot of areas in the world now, but we claim them to our own. So we're just bringing that to the boil. Once that comes up to a light simmer, we're gonna throw some beautiful West Australian pink salt in here. And this just adds a really nice complexity and gives the porridge a nice savory little outlook. For the hero ingredient, these West Australian oats, they're grown in the winter and then sun ripened and harvested in the summer. So we get these beautiful ripened, fresh oats available to us all year round. Okay, the next day we have this beautiful flavored milk, macadamia milk, it's, it's got full of roasted nut, honey flavor. And now the time is to add the oats. It looks like a lot of liquid, the oats, but once they suck it all up, the, the flavour, uh, this will become a beautiful, thick, consistent porridge. And now you can see the spurtle really comes to work. We can get right into the corners of the pot and give it a nice stir. So apparently there's, a, there's an old wife's tale about spurtles that you have to stir anti-clockwise. Otherwise, at midnight, the witches come out and eat the children. I'm not sure about that in Australia, but uh, we're gonna be stirring both ways today. If I'm not here tomorrow, then you know why. <laughs> you can see that the, the oats have started to soak up that beautiful liquid. While that's finishing off, I'm gonna jump out to our garden where we grow some beautiful little Australian natives um, and some, some local stuff that we're gonna garnish this porridge with today. We have some red vein sorrel. Uh, that we've been growing and beautiful this time of the year in the winter months of Australia, it just comes to life. A point of difference with our porridge today is we're using native Australian ingredients. Um, we have these beautiful finger limes in WA and they are just stunning. It's like caviar but pops of citrus flavour. We also have a native hibiscus called rosella um, and these rosella flowers, they're sour and sweet and just very Moorish. Um, today we're going to be dehydrating these um, and turning them into a powder and then covering a little uh, wafer that's made from brick pastry uh, with the rosella powder. The finger limes, what we've done, is made a curd. So like a traditional lemon curd, which has these pops of pink, beautiful uh, little caviar throughout the curd itself. Okay, so we're going to plate this porridge. It has this beautiful West Australian oats, uh, bravo apples and some macadamia nuts. There's a couple of serves in this recipe or one hungry person. Garnish this with these beautiful Australian ingredients. First off, we have our finger lime curd. This brings a little bit of sweetness to the dish. And then we're gonna start building up some of these little wafers on the top. Some dried bravo apple, a little sorrel from the garden. And then to finish, we've got some macadamia. It's just on the micro plane. Okay, this is our golden spurtle entry. It's amazing using WA produce, oats, the native ingredients. Uh, so hopefully the people can make this all over the world. Hope you enjoy it. Mmm, delicious. Thanks, Scott. <laughs>